as you can see here the boat is full of water what a nightmare this is it pumped out some of the way and as you can see there's like mold damage happening um, can't see too good right there but there's water basically touching the bottom of the gearbox you can kind of see it right there but got to the boat after a while there and it was just full of water halfway to my knees I'd say about a foot foot and a half of water just kind of crushing everything that I've worked hard for you can see all the water has been soaking up into the wood not just all bad news right there underneath the carpet it has this similar type of wood right there teak uh, crisscross pattern yeah it's just a bad day all around it's just a type of day that you would be very glad that the power wasn't on the better angle here at how everything is water was up above that lip and uh, really tore up everything it's totally waterlogged it took probably about three days to fully dry out but it eventually did and as you'll see in this video it gets a lot better um, we used a bunch of uh, different types of wood products and I did end up getting it restored to a certain point there's like mold growing on everything you can see the difference in those two pillows um, it was just a lot of mold and you could just see it everywhere which would happen if your boat is full of water for a while <laughs> so fortunately got a really good bilge pump there pumping it out and it's it goes out got pretty the heater quick. going on the floor trying to here's a bit of a us trying to dry out the floors with Soak it up. a propane heater as best water we can. still collecting in the corner seems like the water favored it um, on that side a couple pictures there of the damage of the floor had all over it and as it dried up it did not get better for the parts that popped up it, it just floor went from zero to a hundred in a bad way now this area right here I ended up angle grinding the pieces and gluing them back in Some. Um, hopefully they won't pop back up because they're smaller and it released a lot of the pressure on uh, on the other tiles so these tiles actually come in a different way We're out there doing some laundry washing everything and then just enjoy the rest of this video it will kind of show a little bit of the progress out here getting tacos while we're waiting for the um, laundry to finish because of all the mold from the moisture. We got everything going. It's real nice.
up in a public school. It's looking a lot better. Except for that section over there. I can't believe I missed that. All right, so the boat's not full of water anymore. I have pictures, some video, but it didn't catch any audio. And uh, the rainy season got me. So going out to get some more supplies right now to fix some of the water damage and fix a couple of things I was coming down here to work on so I'm out of getting out of breath walking out here so I'll talk to you guys later here we go fix the floor not bad still got to fix that water damage right there it's a lot better than it was put carpet in this side now Out here enjoying the uh, sunshine, just kidding, it's cloudy, and the beach. Working on uh, clearing out some of the water that has gotten into perhaps the transmission box, the gearbox on the engine. So it was touching it, it was in a little bit of the water so we're draining it out to make sure that none was in there but trying to find um trying to find out how much to put back in is very hard <laughs> it doesn't say on the engine we can't find anything about it online yeah so we're going through old documents trying to figure out what's going on with it all right, guys, till next time.